Hi guys, I'm Carla Coffey and I'm here in the greenhouse today and I'm going to teach you all how to make a succulent arrangement on one of our lovely birdhouses that was made to uh, made for us by um, Claw, one of our local woodworking clubs. So I've already finished one half of the birdhouse so this is kind of what the other side will look like. We have our succulents picked out right here in these two trays. And now we're going to stuff this other side. So we have roofing material right here to keep the water from seeping into the actual birdhouse. And I'm gonna use sphagnum moss and stuff it into here so that the plants have a medium to grow into. So here I'm taking the moss and I'm going to compress it with my hands into each corner. I'm going to press it until it feels pretty firm. All right, we're all finished stuffing. So what we're going to do next is start planning out where we want to put different succulents. Um, my basic rule of thumb when it comes to design is making sure that there's a lot of contrast if you put two plants next to each other. You definitely want to think about texture, so you never want to put two things that have the same texture next to each other, and you definitely want a lot of contrast in color. So if you have something that's lime green, you're going to want to put it with something blue or red or purple. And luckily here at the greenhouse, we have tons of succulents to choose from. So we can do basically whatever we want. Here are some Echeveria Pearl von Nuremberg. They're very beautiful. They have blue and purple in them. And I think these will be really pretty down here on the corner. So I'm gonna use my fingers to move the moss aside. And try not to throw the whole thing off the table. And I'm gonna take the plant I'm going to take off some of these dead leaves down at the bottom. I've already washed a lot of the soil off of the roots so that it can fit into the space a little bit easier. I'm going to really gently push it down into the hole until it's there nice and firm. And there's a lot of extra um, soil media on here, but we can wash that off later with a spray bottle. Okay, so we've reached a midpoint with our succulent arrangement and we've come into a situation where I have a little bit of a space right here in the corner and I'm trying to think about what color should I put there to make it pop the most. And we were talking about contrast earlier and I think that pink would go really well in this corner to kind of mirror this side and also some of the pink tips on this calancho. So I brought in these and I think I'll put those right there. So we've reached our finished product here with the greenhouse. It's really an experimental process. This is art. So the most important thing is to just try new things and have fun. So you can see this is kind of what we came up with and it's very bright and colorful. We want to make sure everything is really bright so that when it's out on the street, everybody can see it from a distance and um, it makes a big impact on the landscape. So. Thank you for watching and make sure you come out to see all the topiaries and everything. And we'll do one last kind of quick turnaround so you can see from the front what it looks like.